Hello there guys, the PC guy here, continuing our last video where we were exploring Noxtala and doing a Hades quest line along the way. Uh, these guys actually started attacking me as soon as I spawned. Thankfully they were missing all their shots somehow. But uh, yeah, so we explored most of like the upper areas there. And we just have this area here downstairs, like along this river. We'll have to go. So that's what we're gonna be. Oh shoot! That's what we're gonna be doing. If we don't get stabbed to death by these guys beforehand, there's a uh, oh, there's something there, along with a bunch of like snails. These guys explode when they die. So careful about that. Oh, that's a lot of snails. That really is a lot of them. Thankfully, they are pretty weak. We actually got really lucky last episode. We got, uh, we found a uh, smithing stone level 6 which we're missing to upgrade our swords and uh, we already had a 7, 8 and did we have a 9? we had, had at least a 7 and 8 all as well like already laying around oh it's one of these Okay, boom, 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 boom. Yes, that's nice. You can get some really nice, like, chain reactions of these guys. to just kill themselves along with anything else around them. <laughs> nice, some resources to upgrade our um, spirits. Oh, I can actually zap me a little bit there. Okay, this is getting a little bit dangerous. There. Let's not forget to take this. The material levels here are actually pretty high. Surprising in a good way. Because it's really not that difficult, at least so far. And we're getting like level 8 and 9 like upgrade stuff. Are we just gonna pop those? No. Those are probably gonna all pop together. Good, nice, very nice. Like, <laughs> I don't need it for this weapon, but for any future weapons and experimentation that I uh, might do. I can never have a shortage of smithing stones. Especially the somber ones. Oh. Oh, there's a little... Uh, a little place there. Have they been here? Or is this just nothingness, apparently? Right, uh, this direction. We're going to check what's inside that little house. Okay. 
Keeping my shield up and then I walk into this. Like suspiciously empty place. Nice, nice. There's a place to go there. There's another spot to go there. Which are we going to do first? Let's uh, uh, let's head down here at first, I guess. It's insane how much of a difference it made to upgrade the weapon a few levels. I was actually a little bit disappointed for a second there with this weapon. Thinking, uh, okay, this is kind of a crappy one. <laughs> and now just, uh, you know, two upgrades or three upgrades on top of it. And it's really kicking ass. I'm actually excited to reach the next boss and see how much that lava special attack is doing on it. Oh, we have Sight of Grace. But I want to finish exploring the upstairs there. It's like something like I said uh, last video. Uh, sure, we are pursuing a Quest questline, but we're not tunnel visioning it and, you know, just going for the objective. And leaving, I actually want to explore the rest of the zone, so I'm like, you know, done with it and can move on without having to worry about returning. That's a blue one, or... Or is it a white? I couldn't tell. <laughs> yep, just... Da, 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 da. So that tune no. Like, oh, yeah, I shouldn't stand there, but yeah, I, I'm almost feeling bad for the enemies at this point. Why is my target not like... Oh shit, this guy actually hurts. He does hurt, but he also dies easy. I think that he would be guarding something. Okay, I thought it would be guarding something, uh, but uh, apparently not. All right. Um, okay, let's check the, that little hemp going up on that side before we uh, head back down that elevator to that side of Grace. Quality smack right there. I'll just leave that. In case you haven't noticed, I really love me some uh, jumping uh, R2s.
This one is chasing me. So there's nothing to see there on that side. We're heading this way. Can never have enough of those. Is that it? Apparently. Um, how about that area there with the the tree up there? Like, do I feel like jump? No, no way I can jump this high. There's also no way up from there. I guess I have to approach it from some other direction. Oh, there's like an elevator right there, I think. Yeah, I guess it must be. Or no, that's where I what or I don't know. Either way, uh, there's no way for me to go there. Wait, why am I running? I can just <laughs> can just go back this way. Right, I should be able to put in a level. What I said I would be doing would be putting this at 30. Let's see if Han has something other to say. Okay, so she could give a little bit of background. Okay, so that's the thing I'm sent to kill here, the Billful Shadow, which apparently is an assassin sent to kill her by the Finger Boys. Right, I would really love to have a map of this place. But that's just asking too much, I guess. I cannot for the life of me remember where the map is found. But uh, it seems to be pretty much just a one way thing. It seems to be like the only way, literally. Oh god, these. No. No, the three of them even. They're the ones that give like instant death. <laughs> it's alright. Got through it. Although, uh, <laughs> I can't imagine that they're the last ones. Oh, that's the baleful shadow that she uh, keeps mumbling about. That's... That's Blade. <laughs> yeah, me, it's hard. Also, does not stagger easy. Oh, and he heals! Of course he does. At least usually they're limited to one heal.
Oh, huh. There we go. Okay. Cover the palace key. Okay, so this is for that chest near uh, Anala, you know, that, that locked chest that we come across. Just finishing exploring this before we actually go there. So, oh, I thought this might actually go up to, um, what's his face? That place where we saw the tree, but apparently not. Lake of Rot. This is a very interesting <laughs> area. Uh, really not. Really sucks. <laughs> Either way, uh, we were going to check on that chest near Hanala, which is here. Uh, just a sec. Okay, yes, uh, chest near Hanala. There it is. This gives us a quest item, Dark Moon Ring. And this is something that we need to give to uh, uh, Hani, actually. Yeah. So we need to go to... Um, Was it again? Yeah, we actually need to go through the Lake of Rot. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. As the name suggests, Scarlet Rot. The second you step your, the second you dip your little pinky in there, you've got Scarlet Rot. And you can't, like, mount to avoid it or anything like that sort. So, uh, let's see. I don't have the things to heal Scarlet Rod, so... I'm just gonna have to tank it like a man. There's some enemies um, skulking around. There is some items to pick up. There are some platforms to stand on, but you know, once you're infected, you're infected, there's no point, uh... yep, there it goes, look at how much it ticks, like, it's, it's absolutely insane, you just really have to, like, keep healing and do your freaking best to make it to the other side. If you think you are not going to make it, um, your best solution is, provided you're not in combat, um, teleport yourself to like a site of grace to get rid of it and uh, try again. Oh, crap, I got lost in looking at the distance to see where the hell I need to go and I uh, wasn't paying attention to my health.
Right, uh, I'm not gonna make it. So let's do this and uh, make our way back again. There, we have our flasks back. Uh, we can uh, keep exploring. I kind of like lifted up some portions of the map there with a switch apparently. There's more of, yeah, aren't there? Oh, shoot. Right, okay, so we can lift up some portions of the map. This. <laughs> this should make it uh, easier for us to actually. Uh, Get through the whole thing without getting Skull Throttle over us. I mean, I already have it, so it's too late. But if I have to go back... Just trying to get all these items here. This another switch. Like I just can't resist when there's stuff to pick up. Uh, no, I can't go on like this. Gotta go again. Okay, okay. I, I think the switch is set on. No, there it is. It's gonna say that I think that they. Uh... Is that on? Please don't infect. Please, 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 please. Oh! Oh! Oof, oof. Okay, okay, okay. You can probably run to the other platform. I probably run up to there, trigger it without catching catching the cooties. And I believe that our target is that gate up ahead. Oh no, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Okay. Oof, oof. I'm gonna go for it. What other choice do I have? Oh, how I wish Torrent was here. Something to get there, but like I said, I've been here before on another character, and I know that there's Sight of Grace up ahead. Just gonna make sure that I reach it, clear the rot, and then I can circle back and go check whatever that was on that corpse. Right, we made it across the Lake of Rots. That is 
Just dandy. <laughs> this is like freaking blight down on steroids. Yes, it seems to me that uh, the platform resets on the uh, Oh, that's a little bit late. Those are like the things to heal the rot. <laughs> Could have used them a while ago, Master. I definitely wait to hide to jump. Okay. Hmm. I guess always worth it to check the corners before going down. Boys, Come on, get out of the forbidden water. Oh, there's stuff there. I'm gonna get poison. There's like a lot of messages saying like strong flow. I think there's a. Yeah, I know what this is. Okay, first off. Can get out. No! I just wanted to cure the rot before I found it. <laughs> That's alright though, we don't necessarily need to find it. Um, It is more than annoyance than anything else. It's one of those enemies that uh, you fight it once, it's a boss, you fight it again, and again, and again. Much like the Earth Tree avatars, like so many of them, they lose their impact. And they also <laughs> somehow lose their rewards. Uh, oh, you're not just gonna let it go, are you? Oh, 
Oh, that was close. That was a close call. <laughs> Making my way downtown. Oh, I just remember where I have to go. Actually, this isn't exactly it, but there is a loot ahead, I believe. A quality sneak attack. Oh, remember when you got teleported to a spot with these assholes and uh, it was actually a freaking nightmare to fight them? Now they are pretty much cannon fodder. Okay, let's see if I can pull one off. Yep. There you go, shrimpy boy. Get bent. Nothing hiding here. Also nothing hiding here. <laughs> Loot! Scorpion Stinger. No idea if that was worth the trouble. <laughs> Seems to me like a dagger. So, uh, I don't think so. I'm not really into daggers. Right, we are heading here. See something very easily missable. You get your butt here, you rest in the coffin. And it basically takes you to a boss area. Definitely an interesting transportation method. I uh, like how all the cutscenes have us in our the gear that we're actually wearing, and it actually still blends in and works in terms of animation, looking, you know, pretty decently well. That's a uh, major prop. Yeah, why am I always so tired? Why am I always yawning? See guys, this is what you get for not subscribing. Then you got like someone making YouTube videos that you're watching that they're not full-time YouTubers. They actually have a job <laughs> and like, you know, a full-time job during the day. <laughs> they come home playing games in the evening and then we're freaking exhausted and you get this freaking yawning. So if you guys subscribe... Ouch! If you guys subscribe, I'll be less tired. I'll play better, I promise. <laughs>
He actually has quite a lot of health. Oh, it expands outwards, okay. Was that the grab attack that I just dodged there? Or oh, please don't kill me. Ah! No, I was getting you up. <laughs> I have 41k runes, I can actually get a level, but I have no bonfire. I'm gonna have to try, try to remember. Uh, actually picking them up. I have a habit of forgetting to pick up. <laughs> forgetting to pick up my runes when I'm like in boss fights. Where are they? Oh, there. There they are. I didn't feel very safe. Oof. Yeah, this is why. Ow. No. All right. This I know now. The runes are like in the middle between the two doors, which is something. Where are they, though? Okay, so he always opens. Oh, there they are. Ah. Yeah, I can summon... Uh Why 40k runes? Oh yeah, because the mimic it consumes health instead of FP to summon. My god, that was so stupidly timed. Ah. Why do you have to do me like this? Oof, close one. Damn it, this is how I end up being like under leveled. Or feeling under leveled at least. No.
There you go, stagger, bitch. That's a night he has there. I actually have uh, not noticed that it's like an empty hole. No, it's actually his eye. Remembrance of the natural boring. Doesn't seem natural to me, but sure. <laughs> Right, and there's a oh, there's a set of crates there, and a way forward. <coughs> Definitely want to spend those runes ASAP. I want a little bit more carry weight to equip some better armor, so I'm tossing those two points there. I mostly still feel like I'm super freaking squishy, even though in practice I know I'm not. Just making sure I don't. Leave some loot down there. <laughs> Wee. I love them lightning elevators. Moonlight altar, and this is. On top of that plateau that we could see. And there's a lot of shenanigans here. Including a side of Chris. Which we unlock because we might want to come back here sometime. <laughs> Let's see uh, what we have. This is where it came out of. That's that's under there. So right here we have like this, this. There's like a tower there, and this here. So let's look for this thing here. See what it is. Got the building up ahead. Not quite sure if... Oh, hello! That was... Uh, unexpected. Expecting, I was expecting fire. Now there's fire. Okay, still no fire. Okay. Apparently the dragon no sword source. Eh! Holy crap.
All right, I've been screwing around a bit too much. I've been trying to uh, hit his head to get the stagger in for style points. But then like he hits me once and I'm almost dead, so uh, maybe I should just go for the easy nibbling at its ankles. I say easy, but I keep missing swings on a target this big. Oh! Uh, calm down, boy. Ha! Don't tell me I'm gonna... There. That was uh, a little bit scary for a second. Okay, okay, uh, let's uh, resume <laughs> what we're doing. We're coming here to this building for some exploration. Cathedral of Manuselis. Bunch of starlight shards. Many starlight shards. Actually, I've never been much of a an item user in this game. Which there's nothing wrong with it. Just, I just this game, like games in general, I tend to. Uh, Leave a lot of items unused. I think this is a way down here. Yeah. I believe this is actually the way to go. Love first off tears. <laughs> so we have Hani here without her hat, actually. She looks completely different without her usual Hoban hat and everything. <laughs> she seems to have killed the finger boys, probably with the blade that we gave her. Honey, will you be my waifu? No, don't leave me. And she's back magically with clothes and stuff. Okay. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> Darkmoon Greatsword. So, this is one of the reasons a lot of people do this quest. 
very typical, very iconic um, weapon from uh, <laughs> this game that actually has shown up in a lot of From Software games throughout the years. Like, pretty much almost all of their games have a variation of the Dark Moon Sword or Great Sword or whatever they call it. And it's nice to see that tradition carrying forward. There is always the little detail that um, you have now unlocked one of the possible uh, endings for the game. You are not locked into that ending, you literally have unlocked the ability to choose that ending when the time comes at the end of the game. So uh, yeah, that's also a nice little bonus. And uh, yeah, that combined with the fact that it gives the... There's a the hidden thingy here, isn't there? Oh, one of those suckers. But yeah, there is a hidden hole there, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> because screw physics, that's why. All right. Uh, we were yes right what have we got here uh, okay <laughs> this is a point let's see what else we've got in these ruins Usually there's like only one underground cellar, but could be more, or there could just be like, you know, other stuff as well. Right, let's check this next set of ruins over here. Fully expecting none of those creepies to show up. Probably once I reach like the middle left. Yep. Oh, there is an imp dungeon. Haha, <laughs> easy game, easy life. Jeez, you guys are freaking annoying. Right, what have we got here? I don't really remember that. I think this is a caster thing. Pretty sure this is like uh, increases your focus or the focus you get from flasks or something like that. Oh well, can't all be useful. Should rephrase that, can't all be... Oh, it's freaking people again. No, let's see it. Nobody can be bothered. Oh, heck off. Actually, don't heck off. I wanna look at the map and you're not let. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Can we please drop combat? Yes. Right, so I need to head north. Oh, wait, there's the site of Greece we should take. Probably. What is that there? Or is this the site of. Oh, yeah, this is where <laughs> we were all along. Uh. Passing a few points into strength. 
for the damage you as you might or might not have noticed I am really like winging it with this with this points I'm putting I'm going like in a general direction uh, not specifically min maxing or doing things in a specific order Okay, uh, let's see what we find. There might be more hidden cellars, so paying some attention at the floor. There's definitely traps. <laughs> I think there's one here. Yeah, can tell by how it was. It had like you could see it there, like the outline of the of the entrance. Nice, very very nice, most definitely. Guys are pretty annoying. Traps are also pretty annoying. <laughs> right, I think I Finished exploring most of that stuff, but there must be still one of those invisible mages. Because I couldn't open the map. Right, uh, let's go check that tower over there. Marker number four. Actually, hold. Exactly at the... Where is that the hour mark for the video? I usually try to end it, but it seems like such a waste to not finish the little two corners of this area that uh, I wanted to explore. There is a couple more dragons around here. I don't think they're bosses per se. No, they aren't. Oh, I think they might be farmable for like dragon hearts or something along those lines. So uh, I'm just going to leave them to do their business and uh, yep. Oh, never go. Ringleaders, every goal. Oh crap, these guys are...
Oof. All right, let me heal you. Twat. What? That hurts. That really hurt. They are very fast, these guys. They jump and hop and skip you about, and uh, they can be pretty much all the Let's give it one more go and then call it a video. Um, I don't expect it to be too difficult. Famous last words. But at the same time, uh, if it takes a little bit long, um, it's going to be a long video. Also, I'm going to explore the other corner after this. So, let's give it one go. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. Can you stop attacking for like five freaking seconds? Yay! So there's that hole in me there that he's like charging it. All right, okay, uh, just one more, just one more, just one more. <laughs> okay, no, seriously, just one more go, and uh, that will really be it. You have a bit more of a more fast attacking build. Uh, you definitely have a bit of an advantage here. Right, that's what I wanted to do earlier. I think he was about to do it actually that Crazy head attack that he does. Oh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, he almost grabbed me. It has a very simple move set, but it also does not leave a lot of room for error. Because he is pretty lethal. And he's very fast. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I dodged that and I was miles away. Like, oh, I swear. Okay, uh, I did say it was gonna be the last. So let's finish this guy uh, on the next video. 
again, like I said, I don't expect him to be the most difficult boss in the world. But yeah, so next video we're gonna clear this, obviously. And we're gonna be exploring like this edge, checking this tower out here. And I think that's about it, that's in this uh, little corner of the map. After that, uh, what do we have after that? I'm, uh, I'm so freaking tired. Um, other than that, uh, one thing we have to do is we have a quest line with Fia that I have actually never done, so I'm not sure how easy or not that is. What is this here? Huh. Weird. Uh, so yeah, we have that one quest line with Thea, which I have no idea how easy or hard it might be. I might talk to her, check it out and see uh, what it's about. Other than that, yeah, we'll clear that uh, those exploration areas, check that out. And after that, it's off to exploring up here where we left off. So this has been a TPC guy. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. As always, uh, comment, leave a like, etc. Especially leaving a like and commenting helps a lot. What helps most of all, though, is clicking the subscribe button so that I know that you guys uh, are enjoying and I feel like I'm doing this for, uh, you know, what is this? I mean, and I feel like I'm doing this for people to, you know, that people actually enjoy and actually appreciate it. And it gives me, you know, a nice motivation to do it, of course, uh, when I get that uh, feeling. So, uh, as always, I uh, hope I see you guys in the next video. Uh, I also have one to like now and again go actually check what I left behind with those markers because I even forget what they are. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have fun and uh, enjoy Elden Ring if you're playing.